Hello and welcome to another RGH tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to edit your .xex file from Halo 3, your default .xex. I want to modify it a little bit, get us some nice little features going on with it, but nothing too crazy. I have seen aimbot files and a bunch of other stuff. I don't want that. What this is here, I'll just show you the page right here, okay? So Halo 3 Ultimate XEF PPF Patches 5, okay? This works for no title update, for Mystic Title Update 3, which is the um, ODST multiplayer disc, and then Title Update 3. Both of these do not require the use of Title Update in the uh, patcher. Like, you just drag in one file, and then it pretty much does everything for you. Whereas this, you have to, uh, for Title Update 3, you have to kind of download some stuff. Now, this uh, gets rid of the checks, gives you all the armor. The, the big things for me that I want is all the armor, all the campaign stuff's unlocked, all the skulls. There we go. That's cool. That's nice. Uh, armor, obviously the biggest thing. So if you go ahead and go to download right here, you can, I'm not signed in. Anyway, you have to make an account and you can download those. Um, but the thing that's different about these these, you are not going to need a title update. This, you will. So you'll need to go to Xbox Unity and then download whichever one's for your region. Um, it will, before you modify files, it will double check to make sure that the file is correct. So you'll know if you're about to do something incorrect. For me personally, this is the file that worked for me. This is the English title update three. You just go ahead and hit download and then you got it, okay? It's right here, title update three. Then we have these files right here. These are also things we're gonna need. I pulled them from Halo 3. I would recommend installing this to your system. Like I have it right here. I don't have my flash drive on me, so I'll have to show you it via FTP. These are the files for Halo 3. Go ahead and just take these four right here, the Waves DLL, Wave Shell DLL, default.xex, and Waves folder, okay? We're gonna to wanna to take those, back them up, and back up the title update as well. Now, this is the folder that I had downloaded from uh, the internet, uh, the page that we wanted to download from. This right here is the folder that we're going to be using. So, what we are wanting to do real quick is go ahead and take this update, get that, as you can see, English, Halo 3 final, title update number three. Go ahead and hit extract. And then you're going to want to just go ahead and put it in here in your TU files. Go ahead and extract it. And there you go. That's all you need to do with that. You can use other programs. Uh, other programs mess with this. I think Modio does the same thing. I just have Horizon installed already. It's pretty simple to do. I'm sure there's plenty of different ways you can go about doing this. Like you could download tools differently. You could modify it yourself with a hex editor. Like there's so many different ways to go about this. This is the way that I did it personally and you can uh, follow in my steps. I could give you and just give you the XEX file, but apparently it's bad to do. So I'm not gonna do that, but I'll show you if you wanted to do that. If you wanted to modify an XEX file, this is how you're gonna go about doing it. So now that we have these nice little files in here, we're going to want to go ahead and copy these. Go ahead and copy. And then we want to paste it into this folder right here. This is what we downloaded earlier. And then we're going to go ahead and start this up. Excuse me, it's on the other screen. Okay, so right here just says to remove the checks, unlock the armor, do the readme. I'll show you the readme. Okay. Hold on, right over here. Uh, some of the stuff isn't working, by the way. Some of the links are dead. So if you wanted to use the Mystic disk or no title update, you just drag in the one file, you hit go, it's ready to go. Now, if you want it with the title update, what you have to do is everything I showed you, just drag in the multiple files, then have the extracted title update in there, then you just go ahead and hit start and follow the instructions, okay? so. Go ahead and hit the key. As you can see, these are matching up. It says if they match up, go ahead and hit the key to begin. There we go. It's doing that. It says, hey, did it create a folder? Yeah, it did create a thing right there. 
Uh, actually, it's not a folder, but if it created this, go ahead and go. And it did. So there we go, going ahead, doing all this, then go ahead and hit update. And there you go. That's all there is to it. Now I'll see you at the console and show you that it worked. All right, so now we are in game. As you can see, Halo 3, we'll go ahead and go over to appearance, show you that everything's been unlocked. Go to armor. Look at that bungee body, okay? That is not something you're going to get normally. I don't think there's any USB mods that you can do or you know, something stupid like that. You know, you're going to need RGH or JTAG to do this, as you can see. Look at that. We have quite a bit of things unlocked right here. Lots of elite stuff that we're going through right now. Uh, I mean, I don't really care about the elite stuff. Anyway, enough of this. I'll go ahead and show you me actually going into game. Okay, so I went ahead and played for like a minute in custom games by myself. Uh, I'm having a little bit of trouble figuring out the controls here. Okay, I, uh, there we go. As you can see, flaming head. That's not normal. Bungie body. Thank you very much. Um... I think it's probably pretty obvious that this does work or that it worked for me anyway and it does look super cool as well i mean i know i'm using hayabusa it's kind of kind of newbie but shut up i didn't want to change anything so yeah i guess that's it if you have any questions concerns suggestions um criticism constructive criticism feedback any of those things feel free to tell me them feel free to leave them in the comments or message me them and i'll try and get back to you if it's something i can get back to you about i don't know what i'm saying i'm just rambling anyway goodbye